Give me five friends riding bikes, raring to go. Give me a challenge that makes it worthwhile to toil like beasts of burden. I'll give you the desert, dusty trails and wonderful surprises. Here we are on the ship, checking over the routes of our two-wheel trip. Disembark at Port La Goulette after night has fallen and have a Tunisian dinner. The next day, we change Marvin's connecting link and leave for Tozer. We clock up 550 kilometers of highway on just a little coffee. When the sky fills up with clouds, we look for a place to sleep. Today is our sand christening. We reach Nefta and go by SUV to the trail that will take us to Ong Gemel. Near the abandoned Star Wars set, we find the first dune. The bike sinks into the sand several times. Press on the gas and make it float over the sand. We arrive at a small mountain shaped like the head of a camel. Camel Rock. The view from here is fantastic. We ride along the shores of the beautiful Great Salt Lake, called the Gates of the Sahara. It stretches for over 5,000 square kilometers from Hezwa to the west to Kabili to the east. After hanging our laundry out to dry on the terrace, we go to stretch our legs a bit in the main square of Douze. Then we leave for Jebil National Park, where we sail, happy and free, over an endless sea of dunes. We reach the Café du Parc, the ideal base from which to take the internal trails. We repair the bikes, for dinner, we have a typical soup called oja and a meshuya salad. Strong winds wipe out our plans for the morning. We take off only after lunch, under the driving rain of the Tunisian Berber South, from the underground cave homes of Matmata to the fortified granaries of Kassar Halouf. The rains accompany us to the sea, from the small town of Maharis to the beautiful tourist destination of Monastir. The Raibat is its fortress. Having reached the sunset of our trip, we embark on the ships with our bikes. Every wave of the sea will remind us of the dunes of Tunisia.